this is one of the mining pits of Asanko gold mines. Less than 100 meters away from this site is an illegal mining site. Instances where illegal miners invade this site to pick the company's ore is becoming rife. The latest incident was on Wednesday, February 8, when some suspected illegal miners invaded the mine's pit and allegedly stole some gold materials. An attempt by the security to foil the operation by the illegal miners turned bloody. The police fired shots, which eventually led to the injury of one. This infuriated the youth who returned to the mining company the following day, Thursday, and vandalized properties of the mines. One truck was bent beyond repairs. Three others had their windscreen smashed. It's like a backlash from the community, the Gams activities, because uh, they felt it was a right to also mine where we are mining, and that is a, a huge concern for us. Doing Gams was lucrative for them, so whatever work you give them, if some two way do we even employ them, they come and work within one or two months. They felt, look, if I'm going to Galamsey, I get more money. Why don't I go and do my Galamsey? So it's a, it's a big issue, not a question of uh, unemployment, which you can. We do our best to employ them, but we can't employ everybody. It's, it's not possible. There is relative calm in the area, but some of the youth are still angry over the shooting incident. Members of the district security council, led by the Amancia South District Chief Executive, are engaging both the community and company to prevent any further disturbances I will entreat them to remain calm uh, you see if you are demanding something from a registered company um, radicalism it's not always the best approach maybe you you may use it to get one or two but it is not a lasting solution it is not a lasting approach but I can only assure um, the youth, my colleague youth, that I am behind them, whatever their grievances are, as they always do, they should let me know. I will sit the company down, as we always do, and find a lasting solution to the issues. But if they want to sidestep the law and do illegalities, that would be so difficult for, for me to come in and intercede for them. So this is where the injured is receiving medical attention. Doctors say he is in a very stable condition. For now, the police has arrested two persons to assist in investigation. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News.